Hey everyone, welcome back to the Coding Monk. In this video tutorial, we are going to learn about how you can run your Laravel test into GitHub Actions, right? So first question is why to run your test into GitHub Actions? Because whenever you want to merge any PR into production branch or development branch, you want to make sure that your test passes, right? You don't want to merge any broken code that's the purpose of running the test into github actions so whenever you're going to create a pr it will run all the test before and you can also apply branching rules for example that if this test passes then and then you should be able to merge specific branch into development or main branch right so that's the purpose but in this tutorial what we are going to learn just writing the github workflow that runs your test cases. We are not going to learn about how you can write your test into Laravel. I believe that you already know how you can write the test cases. So for that as well, I've created this super helpful API boilerplate, which uses Sanctum and other Laravel features to create different APIs. And this boilerplate provides basically all the things you need to get started when you want to start with the API development. It contains standard response formats. It contains login, registration, login with Google. It contains email verification, forgot password, all these things using standard REST API. So you don't need to do anything. Just clone this repo and start working on your next big SaaS product. So let's get into writing the GitHub Actions workflow, right? So this is also kind of a trial and error for me as well. I've written a GitHub workflow for Node.js application, but for the Laravel application, this is my first time. I have tried a bit, but I have not written a full workflow in past. So let's see how it goes. So first thing what we want to do is create a directory called GitHub and create a new file called, or you can say create a new directory under GitHub called workflows and here I am going to create my continuous integration file you can say ci.yml right so this is the file which contains all the steps and actions we want to perform onto the github actions right so first we need to write a workflow name I am saying that it's ci so here I am suggesting that when this github workflow will run i'm saying that whenever there is a push onto the branch main branch then and then this workflow will be triggered i also want to trigger this workflow when somebody creates a pull request on the main branch so i'm going to create a job called taste and i'm going to give it a name called run taste and here i will be using ubuntu latest as my operating system I'm going to do checkout step and now this cursor is suggesting me to use this Shiva Mathur setup PHP v2 so let me go to the web browser and open it so this is the package you can say or it's an image which we are going to use to run the Laravel basically it contains all the things which we need to run to Laravel application so I'm going to use it and I'll also need to, I guess, install several packages. So I'm going to use this suggestion from the cursor and I'm going to select coverage as none. And then I will need to run composer install into my backend directory, right? So this repository is kind of a mono repos. So I need to go into backend directory first, which contains my Laravel application. And then I will do the composer install, right? So that's the first step, right? Now, what we'll need to do is we'll need to prepare our Laravel application. I guess this step is not needed, but anyway, I'm going to do that, that I will copy env file and I will create a new environment file and run the PHP artisan key generate command. And last command will be running the test. I think one thing I missed here is I will need to go into backend directory when I do copy this as well. So that I'm going to do. And again, here as well, I will need to go into backend directory, right? So this is it. I think this is the file which we are going to use to run our GitHub action workflow. 
So let me create a new branch called git workflow and we are into that branch now and let me commit this change running github ci and git workflow right and I will push those changes into my repository and let me create a PR and let's see if it runs or not. All right, so this workflow started running and if I click on to details, I should be able to go into all the logs. So it is setting up the PHP. It has installed all the extension. It has installed all the composer dependency as well. And now it has generated this basically application key and it's not being able to run basically the taste. So the taste are failing. Let me see what is the error. I use this taste.sqlite database to run my taste cases so it's not being able to find that so i think i will need to add that file as well here so in database i will git ignore this file but what i will need to do is i will need to create this file into github actions i don't want to push this taste.sqlite file into github so what i'm going to do is let me create that taste.sqlite file here. Let me use cursor all right cursor is great we don't need to do anything. So this will create basically taste.sqlite file. Let me push these changes. And go back to our PR and click on to the details and it should have started new workflow so if we see again it will install the php and every other dependency it will install all the composer packages it will prepare the application and let's see if taste passes all right i think this is awesome so I've written this all the taste cases for this boilerplate which checks all the APIs which I have created. You can see I've added also queued notifications as well and I'm running all the taste for all the APIs. So I have covered various taste cases and edge cases into this boilerplate. For example, if we see that it should register new user successfully, it should not register a user with existing email and other taste cases, right? I think this is awesome. We have run Laravel taste cases into GitHub Actions in just few minutes, right? This is very easy to do when you are using cursor or any other ID which supports AI development, right? AI powered development. So this is it. I wanted to show you how you can basically run your taste cases into GitHub Actions when you are doing development using the Laravel, right? And I think it's very important to write taste cases. It's very important to set up this workflow because you don't want to merge any code which is broken, right? If you are working with the complex and large application and many developers are working on the same project, you want to make sure that one change doesn't break your application. And that's why we run taste cases. That's why we do continuous integration. And this is one part of it, right? So now you have idea how you can run your taste cases, Laravel taste cases into the GitHub actions, right? So thank you so much for watching this video. If you like this video and you haven't subscribed yet, please do subscribe, like this video and hit the bell icon. 
थैंक यू सो मच फॉर वॉचिंग थैंक यू